Yeah. What's up, guys? This is Hot Eyes Seven RCT bringing you another live stream, and this time around, <clears throat> sorry for my voice. I'm so a little raspy on the raspy side. Just recovering from being sick these uh, past two weeks, but that's not what we're here for. To talk about you know, how sick or not I am, we're here to showcase Tekken Seven. Let me bring down the music a bit. So yeah guys, we're here to showcase Tekken 7, at least on the PC side of things. As you should know by now, uh, the, the version that I'm going to be showcasing here is the Steam version. Now, why is this so special that it warranted uh, a stream from myself? Um, basically, Tekken is a series that carries some kind of weight, you would say, for gamers like myself who has been around for quite some time being the let me actually turn this off music out okay basically carries a lot of weight because Tekken as a series uh, done by Namco of course as you guys should know already um, being the older brother of my favorite series fighting series of all time which is Soul Calibur uh, Tekken I mean, it's not like my all-time favorite series of all time, but it has been around for quite some time. Now, back in the days of PlayStation, where it began, where everything began in terms of Tekken, um, alongside the Arcade uh, 22, which was basically the hardware used for the arcade version of Tekken, this was at a time where basically uh, 3D fighters were starting to become a thing closest competition was Virtual Fighter um, and basically aside from that everything up to that point was Street Fighter you know Street Fighter and Street Fighter variants everything in 2D graphics with the advent of the uh, basically the arcade 22 and which was closely modeled to the PlayStation hardware everything from that point on became all of a sudden you know 3d 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 now to make the story short because I'm not gonna it's not gonna be a history lesson or anything like that everything you want to find out usually you can find it on Wikipedia and a whole bunch of other sites that basically um, cover this kind of uh, stuff but I'm just bringing it as a special kind of memory that, that, that comes around and floats around Tekken to me is a game that brought my friends and I closer because we were at that point in time in my time um, basically hanging out at a friend's house to play these games uh, from the 16-bit era all the way up to the 32-bit era with PlayStation and Saturn and all that stuff and Tekken was one of our mainstays which actually made us uh, invest at that time in arcade sticks and so on and so forth so here we are, Tekken 7. What is it so special about Tekken 7? Well, to be honest, I'm going to go into this just like uh, you are watching this video because as much as I I didn't really play too much of it since the launch, I mean, I basically I, I bought it, I started downloading, and everything has been basically either testing or configuring so it would look good on the stream and stuff like that, but getting into the game it has so many modes and hopefully we're going to get to explore that even if just for a little bit so let's go to the gameplay scene here and let's boot it up let's go and grab it from steam now I kind of got lost after Tekken 3 because I don't know, I just got, I guess, disconnected from the series. I did get into a couple of the others, like on the PlayStation uh, PSP version. I got to play, I got to play um, Tekken Tag, but I didn't really get too much into Tekken Tag, to be honest.
Getting a bit of slowdown here. I'm gonna have to change the settings a little bit. Kind of weird. Let me check in the settings to see if I can. That's kind of weird. The full motion video seems to be okay. And once you get into the game. But for some reason the full motion video was kind of getting a little bit of hiccups there here and there with the uh, frame rate. Let's see what we got here. Just got a message or a few messages actually. So hopefully you guys will drop <coughs> will drop by and check out the stream, drop a line or two in any case if you want to see something specific. As you can see there's plenty of modes here. You have the story mode, which I'm not going to ruin for you guys unless you want me to. So, let me grab this. Hey Anthony, what's up? Long time no see buddy. How's everything going? the sound and music of this blasting through my headphones so you guys please as always you know I ask this of you let me know if the sound is too overbearing the music of the game and the sound effects so that way everything is flowing nicely now as I mentioned guys um, it has a few more modes than I expect especially after the fiasco that was Street Fighter 5 um, don't want to uh, talk too much about that because I'm still it still stings a bit. I was there from day one. Well, buddy, what can I say, man? I'm I'm back, uh, sort of. I would say I'm up to ninety percent in terms of my voice is still a little coarse. So for that, forgive me. Um, still trying to recuperate. I got a day off, and hopefully tonight I'll have off as well. So. That's all good, especially it gives me some time to game, game, game. Um, later on, of course, I'm going to be streaming for you guys Disgaea 5 Complete, which is an amazing RPG on the Switch, and also Street Fighter. I couldn't work it in for this stream because I wanted this to be more focused on Tekken, but I um, expect that for next week. I'll have that. I'll even have try I'm, I'm in talks with Aaron classic gamer to see if he can set up we can set up both at the same time and have a little versus fights you know friendly fights between him and I for next week so stay tuned for that I guess thanks buddy thanks I'm really trying there it's, it's kind of hard when you have to work not miss any days and stuff and given the, the stream conditions of the job it's kind of hard but you know we'll get there sooner or later we'll get there I hope everything is going good over there at the forums, at the Neo Geo forums. Shout out to the guys over there. Which, by the way, I need to mention that uh, soon I'll have a video. Not exactly a stream per se, but I plan on doing a, a, a little video, a short video. Maybe I'll post it over there at the forums about Last Resort, which I understand is already available on the eShop for the Nintendo Switch. So that's something, you know. Um, so going back to Tekken 7, as you can see here, you have the story mode, which I tried just a little bit, the prologue, and I left it here in chapter 1 because it's something that I want to kind of do on my own time to take in the story elements of Tekken. Um, yeah, last resort, you know, that one's a bitch, that one is so hard, so difficult. But yeah, I'll try my best. Even if it's not one credit, you know, I'll just throw in a couple of extra coins just to push a little bit through because that one is hard, man. 
So, aside from that, from the main story here, you have character episodes that kind of open up as you go through the story mode, as I'm told. So here we have available Fen and Law. Now this is basically story modes with movies in the background and it's interactive. Uh, we'll, we'll come back to this in a little while. Online, of course, you also rank uh, usual suspects, you know, rank match, player match, uh, create sessions and all that stuff. Tournament, which you can create your own tournaments here, and leaderboards. Offline, and this is the part, you know, <coughs> Street Fighter, <coughs> Street Fighter Five. You have your arcade battle, the treasure battle, which is really really cool. This is the, probably the first mode I'm going to try for you guys. Versus battle, which goes without saying, and practice customization, which is pretty. It's pretty out there. It's really Namco at its best. You know, customization. You go into character customization, and by the way, this is uh, the version of the game, the Steam version of the game with the season pass. So all of the extras are supposed to be here in terms of the characters, the full game. And you get to pick and choose which character you want to, let's say, customize. This is the only one that I got to customize, which is Paul. And that's the one that I made up. I don't have many... Um, I haven't acquired many, much stuff yet. Hey, bad luck. How's it going, man? Here, giving the run through on the customization aspect of the game. As you can see, just like in Namco fashion, we get to play dress up with our characters. Look at that froggy. Haha. <laughs> so, yeah, there are plenty of things for you to add to your characters, all the way up to the hit effect when you, you know, when you connect the punches and kicks and stuff like that, what kind of effects you would like to add to them. A uh, whole bunch of stuff I got. Actually, I, pr I purchased this one, the assault rifle. Looks kind of cool. There was another one here, which was this, the Aura. I can't wait to unlock this one. Right here. The Aura, the purple Aura, because it kind of blends in with the RCT logo and stuff. I, I, I really want to get this one. So, yeah, that's, in a nutshell, that's basically the customization. You keep playing and playing and playing and earning fight money and opening up the locked customization item so then you can go in and go crazy with it. Now, cowboy hat. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta make a cowboy version of Paul, which is a character that I usually used to play a lot before. Um, another aspect of customization is basically your profile and your HUD. Here, as you can see, um, I have my own personal where the life meter, the health meter is. You can see that it has like a little uh, sk uh, skeleton skull design in the background and where the Tekken 7 is at, it has some skulls too. That I purchased because you can buy different sets. You see, you can change them all around. They all cost, uh, cost fight money, of course. You can see I have my three million that I don't want to spend. Not yet. <coughs> Sorry about that. So yeah, that's basically the customization aspect. I don't want to take too much time into this. Just want to run through it real quick. Gallery, of course. This is this one right here really impressed me because they, they went the extra mile. They have everything for you to unlock from all the way back to the first second and you can get basically right here unlocked from the get-go is like the arcade intro where you get the arcade the, the, the real arcade intro from that back in the day and how much has this changed yeah these are polygons. Look at that. Look at the power. The RK22. 
So yeah, you have everything from artwork and endings and stuff like that from all of the games all the way up to Tekken 7. It's a really cool feature for longtime fans of the series. I guess that, that was a really excellent touch. Yes, I feel so, so old. As I mentioned in the video, I hope you got a chance to check the video that I that I did on the, the hating subject. A short video I did. It's not a rant, I promise. It's not a rant. It's more like a conversation that I wanted to have with all gamers out there. So yeah, options, the usual stuff, graphic settings. Right now, I'm, I'm doing it for you guys in 2K, not exactly 4K, to so keep the frame rate going really nice at a rendering scale of 100 so <coughs> not going too crazy on the shadows but everything else is on ultra and it looks amazing when I play this in 4k it runs absolutely perfect you can run it with v-sync and run it at 30 frames or with a v-sync off and basically run it 60 or plus frames per second so just to get into a quick fight here, let's, let me show you the treasure battle, which is the mode that has been talked about the most lately, where you basically choose a character and you go in there and this is where you can basically unlock most of the stuff for customization. Um, you can choose to start on the left or right side. That is a nice touch, Namco. Thank you very much for that. That way you can practice on both sides. Now I'm gonna go to my mainstay, who's who's uh, Paul. But man, Josie Mitsu, Rafi, you know, um, Bad Luck's brother, you're gonna go crazy when you see this one. This this Joshi Mitsu is just freaking crazy, crazy. Um. Once you get here, you can get to choose out of the, the suits that you already have available or the customization one. I only have one, which didn't change much because I really didn't have, I didn't have it up to this point many items to mess with. But the gameplay is really fluid. Hey, Rip Eyes, welcome, buddy. Welcome to the show. As you can see, Tekken long time Tekken now I'm hoping because this T Tekken there is a person a single person who almost messed up Tekken for me in the same way that somebody else messed up almost messed up Mario Kart for me I'm not gonna mention the name although bad luck knows who he is to me Tekken is a celebration in many ways uh, no, this is going too slow. I have to bring down the settings a bit. Because when I recorded it, it was running at 60 frames, no problem. But I guess the CPU usage is a bit too much for streaming and moving the game at the same time. So let me beat this guy. Round two. Fight. And then go back to the settings real quick. A kick to the nuts. So yeah, it's moving a little slower than it should. So what I'll do is I'll back out, go to the settings, and just lower a little bit. Because I think the CPU is having a hard time to keep up. I just want to make it smooth enough for you guys. Now I did the recording and it was doing fine. I don't know what's what's up with this. What I'll do is I'll bring it down to 80 the scale. Uh, shadows, I don't want to mess with it too much. I can't bring the resolution down from there though. Let's go 75. And hopefully that'll be enough. 
let's go back in treasure battle thanks guys for making it this time around I know Anthony you have tried in the past to come by and for some or other reason you haven't been able to it's okay buddy I really wasn't expecting anybody to drop by even though I tried to reach you guys I know that you guys have your own lives and you have you're very busy and I know that even uh, Afro soul is in the background even though she hasn't come into the chat I know that she's watching uh, Kiss to you over there. Hope you're doing good. Paul Phoenix. Now, please do not let the frame rate on your side, if you see it a little sluggish, do not think that this is the way that the game is running because it is not reflective of how the game is running. I'm running it in 2K right now. And for some reason, the frame rate is coming down or is staying at least at 30 frames but when I play this and believe me that I am playing this it is well above 50 to 60 frames now just as a side note this is what I'm using my beautiful arcade stick which I love so much for fighters and for shoot em ups and beat em ups now I'm hoping that the Switch to Hori uh, controller, arcade stick that was announced, I hope that it works on PC as well so I can have fun with that. Oh my god. Damn! Rage, rage, rage! There you go. Here you go, here you go. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. That tickled. See ya. Round two. Fight. Now this, of course, not even 48 hours after the game came out, there was already articles talking about how on the PlayStation 4 is it's lower than 900p oh my god and the Xbox one it's even lower than that it's like god people don't get tired of this shit it's a great game just forget about resolution and all that shit I mean I I mentioned resolution because I'm the piece on the PC side of things and I I kind of nerd on those aspects but it doesn't mean that I'm not going to enjoy the game if it's a lower resolution or whatnot. Ooh, got some money. Money is always good. Yes, Red Ice. You need to play it. It's really cool. As you can see, the treasure battle gives you not only fight money, but it gives you some options and items for customization. I noticed that I'm not gonna be able to make it better because what I see what I believe is the reason why it's going so slow or it's being a little sluggish is because of the CPU right now I'm running both cards in crossfire so it's not on the GPU side that's lacking Oh! Come on, sway, Paul, sway. Rage. Ouch! That had to hurt. He got me.
Now, combos here are very fluid. It, it has a nice little tutorial, which I'll probably go in there to show it to you guys. Unreal Engine 4 is really, really cool. It's really, really good and fitting for this type of game. As you can see from all the details and stuff. Now, if you go into offline, let me see if I can try and get... Let me bring it down to 65, maybe. Shadow settings to low. Hopefully that'll help the frame rate. If it doesn't, I don't know what to say. Now, if you haven't played Tekken for a while, this is a very good mode. Is the way that it's designed. I mean, before us guys, we used to sit down with a fighter and usually buy a strategy guide. I know a lot of you people remember that. I used to have all kinds of guides for Soul Calibur, of course. But Bad Luck and Rafi, they used to have a ton of those. And they used to hit those 10 hit strings really, really well. Um, let's say we pick Yoshimitsu. Let me pick Yoshimitsu so you can see how badass he looks. And let's, let's do Heihachi. Because I always love to hit Heihachi. Uh... Bad luck is gonna know why. All right, buddy. Got stage select here. The stages are pretty dynamic, pretty nice. Very colorful, multi tiered in some aspects, and with breakable stuff in the background now this looks really really nice as you can see detail on the clothing is amazing and what they did to Yoshimisu making him look like an alien this is this fucking amazing so basically what you can do from here you open the menu bring up the move list and what you can do here is display in game. Or you can have the demo, play the demo. Oh wait, remove display. There you go. Choose your your move, right? And just have it play for you. And I'll show you how to do the move. It's kind of like a step further from... Yep, it looks like an Indian Afro so Has that organic feel to it. Looks amazing. I, I know because Josie Mitsu is one of the favorite characters for from um, Rafi, the Bad Luck's brother. So basically, yeah, you can choose whatever move you want, as simple or complex as it may be, like this one right here, back fist to stone, stone fist, even though it's kind of simple because of the same button, you press the button for the demo, and it will play out completely. So there are many ways, there are no excuses here. You don't need to actually buy a guide for this one because the guide is right here in the game, which is very convenient. Now, I'm not gonna be, oh! Now, seeing what Sí, mano. Eso tengo que estar completamente de acuerdo. I agree with you, Repais. 
the reason why you're seeing that I have so many characters is because I actually got the version with the season pass. The season pass on its own is $24. The game itself is $49. So they brought down the price of the regular game, but they kind of hiked up the the season pass, you know, making the whole package about $80, which to be honest is pretty expensive. I complained about Street Fighter being 60 and that was a shell of a game. This one, I have to complain about not not that it doesn't have the features, it's just that they're kind of taxing it on you. Some uh, some way, they're always trying to grab that, that extra dollar from you, but the execution of it is way, way better than Street Fighter V, so that I have to commend uh, Namco. That being said, I don't know what the, the console versions have. I know that the, the PS4 has uh, some special costumes that are just um, time exclusive for the platform. I don't know what they consist. I know that at least on the PC side, we have... Aside from the money that they give us, I think is a million or two million uh, in in currency in the fight money. We also get for customization. We get metallic versions of the of the costumes. Like for example, if I want to take, let's say, Akuma doesn't have that, but Heihachi. And we want to let's say change his clothing put something you see this is the regular the standard clothing for him right if we want the PC version has if you're gonna change the key you're gonna see right here in the bottom a gold version so basically this gold version for the PC version is is uh, unlocked that's for all the characters in the game. The same thing you can do with the pants. You go all the way down and you're going to find a golden version of that. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, aside from that, well, you have all the characters. I don't know for sure how many that comes in the standard version. But I just, I didn't want to... Welcome back, buddy. I didn't want to take the, any chances in getting the regular version, then having to be pissed off because a certain character or something that I wanted to test out wasn't there. So I just went ahead and got the, the full package. Now I wish and I'm hoping Namco, please do the same treatment for Soul Calibur. I've been waiting for years and years for you to bring a really really badass soul caliber not the four or five that's crap a new one a better one you can do it obviously you know it had to have the seven number attached for it to be great do the same thing to soul caliber so yeah arcade battle let me do an arcade battle I haven't tried it I don't know what it entails so it's gonna be a first for me as well and guess who I'm gonna pick being that out of all of these here, we have a new guest star from the Street Fighter series. We have Akuma. Tried the rage art. There's two buttons here, forward, and then the cool thing about this arcade stick is that it has a color coded buttons, so it kind of it's kind of easy because that's basically the color combinations that they wow. show you. there K.O. 
he looks badass. That's for sure. Come on. Ouch. Okay, okay. Rage art. Oh. Is badass. It's freaking badass, man. But I wish I could do something with the uh, freaking lag, man. Because in window mode, I can't do this in window mode in 1080p because the screen is gonna be too small. here for a second let me check the move list real quick ah okay so it has a lot of connecting okay not gonna go into I know he has a downward kick. Fifteen thousand, yeah. Get ready for the next keep raising my bank so I can keep buying crap to customize them more. So what's up, guys? Rip eyes, uh, Anthony. Even bad luck. What are the games that you guys are playing? I'm gonna be messing with this and this Gaia 5. This Gaia 5 is an amazing RPG, guys. I know it had already come out for PlayStation 4, but man, am I having fun with that one. How was that? Rage art, rage art. Uh oh. Okay. 
those rage art are new to the series and they are basically i don't know if they did it because of akuma being here street fighter inspiration but those are basically souped up special moves but they are awesome now i'm using akuma here in the most basic way possible because i don't know his moves course you have spinning around or sidestepping you cannot play second and I know this for a fact even though I'm not a good player as some other people I know for a fact you cannot play this game as Street Fighter you will get your ass handed to you you gotta go for the multi tier combos and stuff No! Oh, that's that. Continue. Eight. You know what? I am gonna continue, Seven. but six. Four, three, two. No, I'm not gonna continue. Game. I'm gonna go. As painful as it will be, I'm going to log into to see if I can get grab an online game. To the King of, Iron of course, I'm gonna use Paul. Paul now, if there's any characters, guys, that you want me to <clears throat> Check out for you. Just let me know. Searching for an opponent online. Hopefully there's going to be a connection soon. If not, I'll just cancel the sh Oh, there we go. Let's go for it. So here we go, guys. Anticipation. Come on, don't drop, don't drop the connection. All right, here we go. Round one. Fight. Damn. I had the fucking oh man, I had the art. Look at that. A freaking swipe to the to the ankle killed me. You believe that? Go. 
Come on, Rage Art. Oh, I missed it. But I won. Okay. Damn. God. They're repeating the same shit. Oh, that's it? Oh, round four. All right. Good, good, good. Keep doing that same shit over and over, spamming. Jesus fucking Christ. Smack the shit out of him. There you go. <laughs> See? The same one over and over again. See how you like it. Oh my god. Yes, request revenge. Revenge. Bring it. Would have been nice to change the stage though. I'll be on the offensive with you now. Fuck that. Bye bye. See ya. I don't want the freaking rage thing. He got me, he got me. Give me one rage. Only one rage. Yes! Even if I lose, I got to do that. It's okay, guys. It's okay. At least I got to apply that one. So I got 500,000 and I got an achievement. It's just business. Okay. So that was the online version of it. Let's see how, how much time I've been going on here. Yeah, almost an hour. 
So basically, I guess what we need to cover here. You guys want me to do a little bit of the story mode here? Actually, I'll probably just go with the uh, treasure battle. Because I don't know how, how the story mode is going to respond. <clears throat> just try to earn. Oh, so you were still there. Okay. Anthony, do you want me to do more of the treasure battle to win items? Or do you want me to do a little bit of the story mode? Just give me your honest opinion. Because I don't know the story mode. Even though it might look good, I don't know how straining it will be on the processor. You know, given that it's for some reason it's it's gone down in frame rate for some reason. Let's do a little bit of treasure battle with. All right. So let's do this. Let's go. Let's do the prologue so you can see how it starts. The, the cool thing about Tekken 7 is that it brings the whole story to a close. This ongoing battle with uh, Teihachi Mishima and Kasuya and the corporate fighting and all this stuff going on. It comes to a full swing and to a conclusion, I'm guessing. Now, let's go into prologue. Even though I already cleared it, but this is the way it starts. I remember receiving my first letter from my son a few years back. Scribbled on it were the words, I love you. I was so happy, I cried. At the time, I believed that love was all anyone needed. For some years now, I've been investigating a certain father and son. And I managed to get a hold of the first letter the boy wrote to his father. It said... This is cool. <laughs> father, one day... I will tear, tear you the pieces. pieces. <laughs> <clears throat> that was so funny. He was definitely one dick of a father. And here we go. So you have to press the buttons to go along with the story, which is kind of cool because it shows you the mechanics of the gameplay. And it has a story assist. It'll kind of guide you. Dushi move making you throw him off the mountain. Can you believe that crap? Yep. That was Heihachi. I knew 
from the outset why I hated so much Heihachi. I'm sorry, Rafi, Keto's brother. I know that you love Heihachi, but I hate him. I despise that bastard. He is so evil. He is so fucking evil. And just like the other asshole that Namco produced as a bad guy, which is Cervantes, which also um, Bad Luck's brother loves, I hate him. I hate him because they are cheap, bastards, evil, crazy mofos. I hate him. Nina, Nina, Nina. Here we go, Nina. Nina, Nina, Nina. As leader of the Mishima Zaibatsu, Jin Kazama plunged the world into war. He sent the human race to hell, all so he could save it. Fear and hatred enveloped the globe, filling it with despair. Just as Jean predicted, Earth's despair awoke Azazel, an ancient beast sealed deep underground because of its threat to humanity. The story is a little convoluted, but Azazel in battle, it makes sense if you've been following could the I mean, world really sense in the world of itself. Tekken, not anywhere else. The war that Jean began has now evolved into a battle between the Mishima Zaibatsu and G Corporation. One which has kept the wheels of turmoil spinning day after day. Nina being it's the one representing and the Mishima and Anna, her sister, is the one representing or on the side Jean of G Corporation. Has gone missing <clears throat> in the Middle East. His whereabouts remain unknown. But his disappearance has tipped the scales in G Corp's favor. Area E E zero sign to the Kunan Shingo Jushi. Kokrengun no Herikarato Moremos. Now, once I end the stream, guys, I am going to go into a nice little session where I'm going to be playing this on 4K, full screen, 60 frames, because it's too slow for my taste as it is streaming. Probably eventually have to upgrade, get a better CPU if I want to be streaming in high quality like I want to. Now from what I read, there has been... Uh, both on the consoles, on Xbox One and PlayStation 4, there is some input lag. And they're talking about around 8 if seconds of input world, lag. So that's like... Or milliseconds, something the like that. To that question still eludes me. Then there's the, the input lag brought day, from the controller. From a Gathering news so yeah, for serious fighters, it's, it's a little bit of a learning curve. When I headed back to the barracks, message was waiting for me. I was dumbstruck. How could my hometown have come under attack? When I returned, nothing was as I remembered. The roads used to be quiet, hardly a car in sight. But now tanks and armored vehicles line the streets like an iron wall. Though it was noon, a thick fog of ash enveloped the sky in darkness. The blackened trees, the burning ground, the pungent burnt air. The place I once called home was now just an ashen field. And streets echoed with the memories of playing children and delivery trucks. <coughs> day my old life ended and a new one began in my loneliness and despair a hatred grew inside me is 
Now, from my, my, what I understand is that every single nationality of the characters here are going to be speaking their own language. So they're going to be talking, if they're Japanese, they're going to be speaking Japanese and so on and so forth. So that's a kind of a nice touch. Gracias, hermanito, gracias. Poquito a poco me voy recuperando. Hice el stream ahora, no pude hacerlo la semana pasada porque estaba fónico, no podía hablar y vine a recuperar la voz hace poquito. So guys, I think it's fair enough to say that once the prologue is over, I think I'll be ending the stream. I'm going to keep it short and sweet because as you can see, it's having a little bit of uh, frame rate issues going on. But this should give you a pretty good idea of how um, packed the game is with features and modes and stuff. So there's plenty for, plenty bang for the buck, to be honest. I complained earlier about the pricing, still do. I still consider that everything here could have been done at a lower price. But I also understand that technology is not cheap. They're using a new engine, Unreal Engine 4, and having to adapt with the high cost of development, of course, they're going to pass the expense over to us, the consumers, the gamers, so that's that. Pain in the neck. Now stay tuned guys because next week <clears throat> I'm going to go back to the Switch streaming. I have to say I'm in love with my uh, Nintendo Switch. Everything so far, I mean I've, it has tons of games, more coming up. Whoa! I forgot this part is interactive. Okay. This part of the story mode you get to play, so hold on to that thought. The lighting effects on this game are fucking crazy, man. Nina!
Here we go. I love that power bomb, power bomb. Uh oh, rage art. Here you go. Why are you doing this to Nina? She has a ra the rage art. She has a rage art. Ooh. Beautiful. Even though I hate you, you bastard. And I got another achievement. Let's do this. Jinga Shosoku made the Aruina. Mishima Gracias, hermano. Entiendo. Entiendo. Take care, buddy. Thanks for dropping by. I'm going to end this as soon as uh, this little uh, pre uh, uh, story thing is, is as soon as it's gone, I'll, I'll, I'll finish it. But thanks for stopping by, man. A prologue. That's what I meant. Legos Kasuya. Peace, brother. Take care. Thanks again. Hold a tournament now, like this. found myself staying in a cheap hotel. No. Reports on I'm going to leave it there. News of Heihachi's return to the menu. No return to main menu. And leave that part of the story for later, which I'm going to be playing. So yeah, guys, thanks a lot for dropping by to my stream. I hope with that you were able to get a sense of how awesome Tekken 7 is uh, as, as a game as a whole, not as a, a platform, whatever, exclusive, uh, yada, yada, nothing like that. Tekken 7, Tekken as a series, brings back a lot of memories, and hopefully it'll pave the way for more of Namco's really great series like Soul Calibur, which I'm wishing for. So yeah. 
is a great game. Whatever platform you have, you know, take it. I, however, have to recommend that if you have a good gaming PC, go for it. Don't let the performance here uh, move you against the PC version because, as I mentioned, the only reason why it's moving uh, kind of sluggish is because I'm streaming and running the game at a very high setting and it's training a lot the CPU, my CPU, but the game performs absolutely wonderfully. Uh, as I said, without having to stream or whatever, it's running on 4K resolution, which none of the other consoles are able to match as, as of yet. Maybe Scorpio, who knows, when it comes out. But 4K resolution, 60 frames per second, all the bells and whistles, all the story modes and stuff, customization, it's a really good game. So I really wholeheartedly, uh, I recommend it. Go ahead, guys. Go for it. If you are on the fence about Tekken 7, Go ahead, it's a really good game. And grab yourself an arcade stick if you can. Thanks to everybody who came by. Uh, Anthony, it was really nice seeing you here again. And Rip Ice and Afro Soul and even Bad Luck who came by. I see you guys soon, hopefully next week with uh, uh, Street Fighter, Ultra Street Fighter, the 2D version for the Nintendo Switch. We're going to have some fun with that. Hopefully Aaron Classic Gamer will be able to join us so we can battle it out online so until then take care peace keep on gaming